My name is Shari Shams. I'm the general manager for Middle East, Egypt and Turkey and I handle the smartphone business of Lenovo. So Lenovo is going through exciting times. I think we are now fully integrating Motorola brand into our business. And Lenovo being the parent brand and we are really bringing out, doubling down our efforts on bringing the Motorola and the iconic Batwing logo and the Hello Moto back into this industry and I think a lot of consumers resonate and associate their history or their current association is very strong with that brand and we want to double down our efforts and really grow our business in this region in the smartphone space. So from an overall industry standpoint, uh, uh, it's, it's stable. So across the region, it has been stable year on year. Uh, from a Lenovo perspective, Lenovo is really doing well. Overall, from a, for example, in UAE, we are now 22.4% market share, which is, puts us as a number two brand. We are constantly growing across the region as well in other markets. And, and we feel that uh, there is space for innovation, there is space for bringing down great products at, at mid-tier price points, which is a key example of our Moto G launch, which we did recently in UE and Saudi. And then we have, of course, the Moto Z and Z Play, which we launched with the innovative Moto Mods in last October. And these are really fueling the growth of Lenovo in the region. Uh, that's true. So I think it's a very competitive space and there is always great competition and there's a lot of fun when we are in, uh, putting ourselves against the competition. And I think the best way to do that is by innovation. I think today the consumers in the industry are bored by the same typical style devices which are either becoming a, becoming a bigger screen or a better RAM. And I think we did that and we made a brave move and we, and we have really did that with the Moto Z and the Moto Z mods. And I think we will continue exploring that space. And I think uh, recently we have announced the Moto Z2 Play at global events and, and we have announced new additional mods. So we think that that space where consumers really get the choice to use an innovative device and then use it as per what they want and not be limited by the device capability. I think that's the way to really establish ourselves as a premium brand. Okay. Absolutely, and I think Moto Z and the Moto Z Play, which was announced in last October, is a clear attempt. Uh, we and with the Moto Mods technology, like I mentioned, it differentiates us from from the standard devices you see in the market. And I think consumers are loving that. We have had a great start, and and we're going to double down our efforts on our flagship devices. I think we we have very clear three pillars in our uh, in our business, and and uh, our PC business worldwide is is, is definitely delivering above industry uh, profitability. Uh, MBG and our DCG business are the growth engines and, and MBG business, which is the mobile business group we uh, represent, is we are really going to focus on bringing the right innovation, the right consumer experience, the right products uh, which addresses their needs, uh, which they need today. And I think this will, this will help us to be the real driver of business and growth for, for the company in the near future. It's definitely a very interesting space without commenting too much on what would be our future products. But we had a very strong collaboration with the Tango project with Google when we introduced it on our Fab2 Fab2 Pro. And, and I think, yes, you're right. These are technologies which are upcoming and these are space where uh, we are interested and we will work. But, but without mentioning too much about what's going to come down, but the space definitely worth watching for.